Today, this video is about the latest U.S. Housing Starts data and what that means put against my lumber price data, the momentum of U.S. home building, what happened in September, and a comparison of full year so far to date 2022 compared to 2021. Again, everyone, Keta Kostman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here once again to give you a wonderful update of U.S. housing starts, permits, and construction activity compared to my lumber prices. As I often explain, the housing market data is uh, on a lag. It comes out six weeks later, so the um, October release, which just came out, was for September, and the Lumber price data, which I do, my company, Madison's Lumber Reporter, comes out every week for that week. So the prices that we print for the softwood lumber commodities are for right now. So what that means is, as you're watching this video and I'm showing you the graphs, the, the correlation between the changes to the housing construction activity and the lumber prices is demonstrable. You can see it on the graph. But the thing to keep in mind is the lumber prices are forward and the housing is on a lag. And so anyone who is interested to know what is going on right now with housing, not six weeks ago or last month, should check out my lumber prices because the lumber market responds very quickly, immediately. I will give you the example a uh, sorted time of September of 2006. Following that uh, housing bubble, which actually was a bubble at that time, the way that the financing and the market was going, who was investing, the buying of homes, all of that fit in the actual economic definition of what is a bubble. And that bubble uh, burst and by September of 2006 collapsed and lumber prices immediately started falling that week. I can show you the history. I can show you the data from that time. It was awful. It was hard to watch. And uh, the response by the Forest Products customers and therefore for the suppliers, for the producers, was immediate and lasting. So by spring of 2008, when the general economy crashed, lumber was already way down and by then even sawmills had started closing nothing compared to what happened over the following 10 years until 2018 because housing stayed depressed for that whole time so let's look at the graphs and i'll give you the data update of what is the construction activity and uh, the lumber prices this will let you know the full story from January to September of this year and potentially maybe help to figure out a little bit what will happen to the end of this year before the next construction season comes on, you know, during spring of 2023. So on this graph, you can see that my lumber prices are a little bit ahead in that this data goes to the end of October while the housing starts, which is the top line, the purple line, and the light blue line is uh, single family starts, only goes to September. It's important to note that total starts year to date are still higher than they were in 2021. So the entirety of this year so far, now I'm saying so far, doesn't mean it's gonna stay that way till the end of this year, but so far housing is as robust as it was last year. Permits year to date are almost flat. Now, of course, a permit is not necessarily a start. Not all permits become a housing start, but comparing permit year over year is comparing apples to apples. And the other thing to think about when I say that is that we know what happened in 2021. We can see in hindsight. So if we look at the data now, and so far this year, it's very similar, that gives us an idea of what's coming up. The other important thing to note is that July permits are only 7.2% above September starts, which indicates a good momentum to building. I mean, that's a small drop, and you have to take into account the seasonality where 
housing starts do slow down later into the year because fewer companies want to break ground on a new home later in the year when winter is coming on. So that, of course, there is a drop between July permits and September starts, but it's a small drop given the timing of the year. So uh, single family starts, they are down. Uh, but I think the really important thing to note is that there was 1.74 million units under construction. 823,000 of those were single family. The record for that was 1.63 million in 1973 when the big building boom was on. So right now, 1.74 million total units under construction compared to the record of 1.63 back in 1973. Here we have my lumber prices table that I show you quite often, what we call the benchmark items, the three dimension lumber, western spruce, southern pine, eastern spruce, that one stud item, we chose uh, western, western SPF uh, out of uh, the Pacific Northwest studs. Douglas fir, I was explaining in my previous video how those prices are behaving differently because the warehouser strike in Oregon took uh, about five weeks to settle and that brought a lot of production offline during that time, making the price pop up as customers were searching for supply. And then the bottom line, your Canadian softwood plywood, uh, showing quite some strength there. As I explained earlier, probably a lot due to reconstruction and rebuilding from all those severe storms that we just had recently along the eastern seaboard of both Canada and the southern United States. Here's that benchmark western spruce that I show you all the time. This item was printed flat for the week of October 28th at US $480 per thousand board feet from the previous week and down $44 or 8% from the previous month when it was $524 and down $150 or 24% from the same month one year ago when it was 630. This price is down $180 or 27% from two years ago when it was 660. Now it's very interesting when you look toward the end of that graph, how the 2020 and 2021 ended quite similar in price not really normal historically. The yellow line for this year looks like it's headed there also, but we won't know that until the months unfold. Okay, so that tells you a lot, right? Whether you're a home builder, a contractor, whether you're a large home building company, a small contractor, someone who just wants to do it yourself, some remodeling or upgrade of your home, or a retailer, this information is telling you specifically what is going on on the ground with forestry and construction right now and potentially a little bit of a forecast if you look at my lumber prices which like I said respond immediately to a change in the market conditions of the housing. So some of the Housing Starts data we always look a little bit deeper at Madison's. We don't just look at month over month. People asked me that before. Why do I compare month, same month last year? Because there's a seasonality to construction. The time of year matters. So you, you obviously don't have as much going on uh, in October, November, December as you do in May, June, and July. And month over month can be quite volatile. Things can change quickly, but it doesn't mean it's going to stay just because it dropped or increased one month over the next doesn't mean that's just gonna doesn't make a trend so when you look at this and also the other reason is because we know what happened last year like I mean this we can look in hindsight so if we compare September this year to September 2021 and we know what happened in 2021 we can sort of understand a little bit more about what's happening now compared to just looking at the previous month and trying to make an analysis so I'm just gonna leave it there for now if you like what you see, click subscribe here on my YouTube and you'll get notified whenever I make another update. Click like so that this video will be suggested to other viewers. If you need more than just these small snapshots once in a while when I have time to make a YouTube, go onto my website. The link is here in the caption. You can request a sample and you will see all 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices that we track every week 
and what that price is that week. And you'll get the commentary, the 1,300 words explaining what happened, why those prices are changing. This covers dimension lumber boards, it covers studs, uh, Douglas fir, it covers uh, plywood, OSB, oriented strand board, and cedar all across North America. And uh, if you like that sample when you receive it, do subscribe to my dashboard and then you will get notified every Friday morning you'll log in and see what the price update is that week for that week every week and you don't have to wait until I make a YouTube.